Hey guys, it's a Soul Rack 333 with another toy review. And here I have the Transformers Prime Robot in Disguise Optimus Prime. And I have this only because Hasbro canceled the first editions, which pisses me off. Um, but that's another story. Um, the figure itself is not bad. Um, kind of light. But I kind of like how the truck mode looks. I would rather this be red. Um, but other than that, I like it. Um, there's things about this that I do like over the first edition, judging from the pictures alone, since I don't have the first edition. But I kind of like that this doesn't have that blue. I know this is not show accurate, but I never really liked that blue triangle on the sides. Um, <clears throat> kind of wish the wheels were painted silver though. Um, but alone, I kind of like this truck mode. Uh, to transform them, just separate these panels and just fold these down. You can fold these up. Um, then separate the top piece, fold the back, and then separate the hood. Get these out of the way. These fold down, forming the shins. Then separate this, and then this whole section rotates forward. Then rotate the front grille, flips up, revealing the head. And then this whole section rotates on this hinge, becoming the chest. Now what I find interesting is, when you look at it from this side, this is up. But when you form it into the chest, it's now facing down. Then rotate the arms around. And then this just kind of tabs in. Then the arms fold these little pieces in and fold down. And they snap into position. Rotate the arms, fold the wrist down. Something's not tabbing in. Okay. And then the feet come in from the side and fold down. And that's one thing I really like about this version over the RID or the first edition, I like that the feet don't have that red heel. I think it looks much better. I also like that this doesn't have fake windows. Um, but what I don't like about this is the translucent plastics on the forearms. And that huge backpack. Um, don't like that. But everything else about this figure I do like. Now, my other complaint is this here. This figure weighs 4.2 ounces. Okay. Here is Classics Optimus Prime, also a Voyager figure. Now, I, this is the Henke version, 6.4 ounces. You're, pay, <clears throat> you're paying the same amount for less figure. Um, you're basically paying For a large deluxe figure. This is the uh, Generations or Classics Galvatron, whatever you want to call it. 
the deluxe figure and that is 4.1 ounces and this voyager figure is oh, cat whisker is 4.2 ounces that pisses me off i know hasbro has been cutting corners here trying to keep it at a low price point but that is just annoying to put it mildly and you can see what they're doing you they hollowed out the legs here um this is just hollow um this is just really really light um you separate the arms and it's just hollow um this feels like a really cheap toy the plastic feels really thin you can bend that yeah that I mean everything about this feels cheap and I know this is a children's toy getting annoyed with that argument this toy is meant for children so what you want to buy cheap toys for kids that's fine but this feels really cheap it's a cool looking figure um, other than the translucent bits um, on its own that just the figure looks fine it's just really really cheap um, yeah I'm fine with paying 20 bucks for it but when you think about what was a deluxe or a Voyager figure a couple years ago yeah that's that's just really annoying um, I definitely feel that my collecting days are almost done if that's going to be the trend um, that's not going to stop my customizing since I was able to get another one and paint him up and as you can see here uh, gave him better paint apps um, filled in the holes right there with putty and in the legs too um, did not paint the truck mode so you, you still see the original red plastic um, yeah I would have liked for the reds to match a little bit better but I'm okay with that this is for my own collection um, but if it at least looked like that that would make it a little bit better um, and let's see if my paint apps did anything here It only added two ounces. Two ounces of paint. Yeah. Hasbro, if you could at least add two ounces of paint to your very plain figures, you know, maybe that might be worth it. Anyway, there's the R.I.D. Transformers Prime Optimus Prime. Oh, before I go, Megatron. And there he goes. Bye.